every cell in your body needs oxygen, O2. Cells use oxygen to burn food for energy. When they do this, they produce carbon dioxide as a waste. This is called cellular respiration. The job of your lungs, heart and circulatory system is to take oxygen to your cells and to take carbon dioxide away. Blood is cells in fluid. The fluid itself is called plasma and the cells are mainly red and white blood cells. There is some oxygen dissolved in the plasma itself, but this is not enough for the needs of your body. So special cells are needed to transport oxygen. These are the red blood cells. Red blood cells are good at transporting oxygen because they contain hemoglobin. Hemoglobin binds very easily with oxygen at a high partial pressure, so in your lungs. And it lets go of oxygen very easily at a low partial pressure, so in your cells. This means it picks up oxygen in your lungs and releases oxygen in your cells. When they've done their job, the red blood cells go back to your lungs to reload and they circulate again. So that's about oxygen. What about the carbon dioxide? Well, the blood plasma itself takes away most of the waste carbon dioxide. A small part of the carbon dioxide is also taken away by the red blood cells. When the red blood cells are carrying oxygen, the blood is bright red. And when they are not carrying oxygen, the blood is dark red. There is carbon dioxide, but there is also carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is a tasteless and odourless poisonous gas. It is produced when fuels burn without enough oxygen. It can be produced by the compressors that fill our tanks and it can also be produced by the engines of our boats. Cigarettes produce carbon monoxide. It is very dangerous to breathe carbon monoxide because it binds with haemoglobin 200 times more easily than oxygen. And unlike oxygen, it does not unbind from haemoglobin. It stays attached forever. Your body can never use those red blood cells again. It must make new ones. It takes 8 to 12 hours of breathing fresh air for everything to return to normal. If you keep on breathing carbon monoxide, eventually there will not be enough haemoglobin to bind with oxygen. Your blood will not be able to transport enough oxygen to your tissues and you will suffocate as you breathe. Blood saturated with carbon monoxide is very bright red. So you can recognise carbon monoxide poisoning from very red lips and red nail beds. But this is difficult to see underwater because of colour absorption. The symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning include headache, 
dizziness, nausea, confusion, lightheadedness, and numbness. While you're at depth, the blood plasma itself may still be enough to transport enough oxygen. This is because of the high partial pressure. So divers may not experience poisoning symptoms while they're actually diving. However, when they go up, the partial pressure of oxygen decreases while the levels of carbon monoxide remain high. This means that divers may black out from a lack of oxygen as they ascend. Make sure that there is no risk of carbon monoxide being in your tank. Always know where your tank has been filled. Ensure that the compressor has been properly maintained and is not exposed to engine fumes. If you suspect someone of having carbon monoxide poisoning, have them breathe 100% oxygen and get medical attention.